And one more time, squeeze that low back. Slow it down. Don't let speed it up. Slow it down. Three and two and one and rest. So take your rest, 15 seconds here. Take a break, take a break. And I know you just froze. All right, we're coming into, whew. good, coming into our hollow hold. Squeezing that low back to the ground, reaching those hands forwards or up in three, two, one, begin. Shoulders off the ground, chin away from the chest. Good. If this feels like you could take it up a notch, you could straighten one leg or both legs to the ceiling. Hold. Squeeze that lower back one more time. Press it down for four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. All right. Make your way over to your side plank bridge. All right. Knees and hand against the edge of your mat, the front edge of your mat here. Ready, begin. Lift it up, hips up, squeeze them forward, squeeze them up. Tummy is tight. All right. Now if you're, yep, squeezing it up. If you'd like to activate your both glutes, you could add a little clamshell, raise that knee a couple inches off the bottom knee. Squeeze for four, three, two, one, and rest. And we will switch to the other side next time. Take a break as you make your way back to your back. Woo, working that core early. Here we go. Four, dead bugs. Three, two, squeeze that low back down and begin. Tap and back, nice and slow. Two, one, bang it up, two, one, slow taps, beautiful. All right, now if you need to make this a little easier, if it's too hard, bring your hands down to the ground, just do the march. Squeeze your low back. Three, two, one, rest. Good, a little circle of the knees if you like. All righty. Hollow hold, round two. So same motion, knees are up, scoop that belly against the ground and lift the shoulders. So you can lift those arms up, that is the harder position, or reach them forwards, squeeze. Chin up as well. I'm gonna extend one leg here. Maybe you can extend both legs. Shoulders up, squeeze that low back one more time. Tighten it to the ground. Four, three, two, one. Take a rest and circle. All right, get ready to switch to your other side, side plank bridge. So it's a short side plank and then an optional clamshell with those legs. Shoulders pressing away from your ears. Ready, set, come on up. Squeeze your hips forward, squeeze your tushy tight. And then option, lift that knee for clamshell. So I'm pressing both knees right now. One knee into the ground, one knee up to the sky. Feel those glutes engage. Squeeze that belly tighter. 10, eight, and three, two, one, rest. Fantastic. Woo, team, we got one more trip through this. Our big core workout for the day. One more trip. All right, I like using core as a warm up as well. I'm getting hot and sweaty over here. Dead bug, last time. Three, two, one, begin. Now, if you'd like to challenge yourself, straighten that leg a little bit farther. Good, good, good. If it's too hard, bend those knees a little more. Shorten the lever. All righty, great, Michelle, finishing it off. Good, Kinsey, that was great. Two, one, and rest. Settling in for our hollow hold. Come on back to center, and four, three, two, 
and begin. Last time, scoop your belly up against the ground, low back into the ground. One leg or both legs extend. Good, good, good. The arms get me every time, but if you can, bring those arms overhead. 10 more seconds to go. One more time, scoop that back. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Take a breather. Now in this side plank, we will switch halfway through. We will switch halfway through. So organize yourself on your side. Again, press the ground away from your ear. Ready, set, lift up. Hips forward, squeeze it up. Option to lift that knee. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Switch the side and come on up. Lift up, squeeze those hips forward and up. Lift that knee is optional. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, team. Making our way back up to your feet. Woo, who's feeling their core? Thumbs up if you're feeling that core. Feeling my back, feeling my tummy. Nice work. All right, now you wanna have some moderate weights here, not heavy. Um, well, let me say this. We're gonna do some uh, working some deadlift. So I don't want anyone lifting too heavy and potentially having to activate their low back. We don't wanna use the lower back. So focusing on something moderate. And if you're concerned about your form, even dropping that weight down to light, I'd rather you have good form and light weight. That would be great. We will be doing some shoulders, right? So some rows, those sorts of things. If you'd like to kick it up a notch for the shoulder rows, feel free to grab something a little heavier. That's awesome. I'm gonna grab out these weights. All right, have those available. We're starting with, woo. All right, a tempo deadlift. So I'm gonna count us out to three. All right, and we're gonna come down in the in, in a count of three and up in a count of three, but we're not pausing at either end. So deadlift, shoulders come back, hips come back. Number three, two, one, up, three, two, one. Keep the weight in the heels, three, two, one. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Great. All right, that's our first one. Second one we're gonna do is our row and extension. So for that, I'm gonna grab weights that separate row and extension and bring it back down. So row, extend and bring it back down. Our third exercise will be a little heart rate scorcher and that will be lateral step to the side, coming back a little jump hop and step and then a little jump hop in the center. If you don't wanna jump, don't jump. Just do a little tiptoe for a calf raise. Okay, we'll cycle through three times, 30 seconds each. So it's not super long. All right, coming on in, grab your weight. Shoulders come back, feet are hip width apart and we're gonna begin the tempo. Ready, be good. Nice, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, down, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, one, up, three, two, one. Great job, three, two, one, touch. This is it, and rest. Rest. Good. All right. Now, doesn't feel too hard because we're going nice and up, I promise. Grabbing your weights for round two in three, two, one. Bent over row, extension. Bring it on back. Row, extend. Bring it on back. Good. Now, as you've got the tempo, sorry, you've got the move, welcome to pick it up if you want to pick up the pace. Okay, 12 seconds to go, looking great. Nice mom and dad. Finish it up here, good Marty, three, 
two, nice Michelle, last one, and rest. Woo! Okay, now get ready for some high heart rate. Working on our lunges. Here, center of my mat. Three, two, one, begin. All right, and good. Lunge and hop. Lunge or tiptoe. Lunge or tiptoe. Good. Pressing off that ground. Oh, yes. Three and two and one. Take a break. Take a break. Good. Woo. All right. Finding your weight. It's a short rest. Coming back to our deadlift. Ready. Shoulders back. Get set. Begin. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. One down, three, two, one up, three, two. Squeeze that tush tight. Nice. Keep that spine in alignment. Three, two, one. Stack those ribs over your hips. Three and up, three, two, one, and rest. That snuck up on me. All right. Woo hoo. So, yes, I love it. As you're going forward, that. Head, ribs, hips are all in alignment. Bringing it back up. Here we go. Ready, set, let's row. Row, kick back. Good. Keeping my legs split apart so that I have a nice neutral low back. Can you turn on your abdominals though? Even though we're not using them a ton, you feel them, we used them. Let's turn them on. Tummy tight. Love it. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work. Coming back to our side lunge with the hop. And, okay. Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Lunge, tiptoes or hops. Good. You guys are making the best of a Friday morning. Good work, bringing that heart rate up. All right. Nice work team, getting that heart rate going. Could you pick up the pace? Even by going less deep, picking up that heart rate for three, two, one. Walk it out, walk it out. Not a lot of rest as we come back here for the last deadlift. Find your weights. All right. Ready, set, shoulders back. Begin. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. Good. As you're coming up, don't forget to squeeze that tummy tight as well as your tush. Tight, tight, tight. Good. Shoulders are back. Three, two, one, great dad. Three, yep. Last one here, everybody. Four, three, two, rest. Great work. Getting my, wetting my whistle. My throat's getting a little, whoo, a little dry from talking. All right. On our marks. Last row. Get set. Begin. Row. Kick it back. Really bring it up, good. You wanna change it up, you can change your hand grip. Bring your palms forward, good. You're still using the triceps and get our big trapezius muscles in the back, but changing the grip changes the way we move. We've got three and two and rest. Take a break. All right, final round, final round here of number two. Ooh, getting halfway through our beautiful day today. Here we go. I'm gonna speed it up and go less deep. You do you, ready? Let's lunge, lunge. Good, I'm gonna just work that hop a little bit more, get my heart rate up. You do you. 
This is your workout. This is your Friday morning. Good. Maybe you just come to your tiptoes. I love that too. Bringing that heart rate up. Breath less. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Sending out a big high five to all of you out there. Great work. All right, grab yourself a drink. Oh, all righty. Great work. Okay, a little rest time, bring that heart rate down. We're gonna come back into another deadlift row combo. Another row combo. So what we'll do is um, I'm gonna hold a fit fighter. You can hold dumbbells, they work the same, okay? Shoulders back, just like in our deadlift. We are gonna hinge down just like we did. The only difference is we come halfway up, tummy tight, and get that little row. This halfway up right here, as we're holding, this is back straight, right? So you're gonna feel that lower back working. We shouldn't feel pain, right? Or if it feels too uh, uncomfortable, painful, unhappy, then I want you to um, bring, it's gonna be a little crazy, one leg off the ground. That's gonna keep our low back better. So you're, if you're having low back discomfort, we're gonna do it here, okay? Single leg, row, and up. So no low back discomfort at all. Woo, I'm already tired, all right. <laughs> Second exercise is gonna be a hold, a hold. So feet will be slightly wider. Come do it with me as we practice. We haven't done this necessarily, maybe once. So feet a little wider than your hips. Toes are forward and slightly in, just a tiny bit. Not a whole bunch, just it's slightly in. From here, we're gonna send that tummy tight, hips come back, and we're gonna scoop those fingers forwards and hold. This is gonna be some strength for that lower back. Yep, good. Bring those the, the thumbs like chin height here, chin height, good. And now as we get farther, you can reach back and more forwards. Okay, that will be our hold, our isometric hold. If there's low back discomfort, bring your hands back. Take some pain off the lower back. All right. Finally, we've got power jacks. Yes, yes, for sure, Kinsey, I'll give you that. It'll be... We'll, we'll come here back, um, back here, split the legs. Yep. And our alternate will be here, just working those arms. So I'll give you that when we get there, okay? Team, power jacks. Down, karate chop those knees, up in the center and down, or step it up and down, step it up and down. Yes, the heart rate's up, legs will be burning. All right. So finding those weights. Finding those weights. Here we go. In three, shoulders come back. Two and one. So single or double leg deadlift. Halfway up and row. Good. And up and row. If your back is sore, bring your leg, one leg back and row. One leg back and row. Okay? Good. Hinge, row, or single leg and row. Three, two, and one. Stand it up. Woo! Good work, good work. The single leg work? Yes, single legs. Good, all right. Good, all right. So I'm gonna take us through our hinge first. So feet hip width apart, hinge back. Scoop forwards. Good. For those of you feeling back discomfort, bring those arms back and pulse, tummy tight, stand it up a little higher, okay? Otherwise, together, reach. Flat low back, tummy tight, thumbs about chin height. Can you separate your hips and your, and your fingers for three, two, one, and up. So I can feel my back from my mid back through to my tailbone, those muscles, holding me together. Woo. All right, power jack time in three, two, one. Bring it on down, let's go, power jacks. Good. Karate chop those knees. 
And again, yes, you can step, step. Good, coming down. They're not floating down, you're chopping them down. Good, love it. Four, 10 seconds to go, 10 seconds to go. I love it. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. All right, all right, all right. Second set. Good, finding that weight. Shoulders come back, single leg or double leg. Ready, be good. Hinge, halfway up in a row. If you're on a single leg, you're hinging and holding and just rowing, okay? Good. Hinge, halfway up, row. Shoulders stay back, no matter who you are. Good, Kinsey, awesome. Great mom and dad. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Four, three, two, one, rest. Woohoo! Great work, team. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling all of that work. Hinge, reach, ready, set. Hips come back, scoop those arms forwards, hold. Or if that back is sore, bring those hands back. Give me pulses. Good. Hips back, fingers forwards. Tummy tight, scoop that tummy tighter like you were against the ground in your dead bugs. Reach. Weight in your heels. Feel in my hips. Three, two, one, stand it up. Woo. Hold my body weight, getting tougher. Yes, I love that. Let's bring up that heart rate one more time. Power jacks, three, two, let's karate chop down and up. Good. I love it, good. Kinsey, love that. Who could bring that heart rate up just a little bit higher? Either picking up the pace or getting deeper in that squat. Yes, three, two, one, done. All right, walking it up. Quick rest, final round. Getting that work on. Five, four, three, two, shoulders back and hinge. Good, and row. Or single leg, hinge and row. So this time, if you're on your single leg, we're gonna switch halfway through. Two, one, switch, and good. Rowers, just row to your belly button. Doesn't need to be super high. Keep the shoulders out of our ears. Good, four, three, two, and rest. Great job, Michelle. Woo. Hands are hurting. My hands are hurting from holding that weight. They're tired. Great work, team. Ready, set, hinge, reach. Hips come back. Scoop those hands forwards and tap those fingers together. Chin height. Good. Tummy tight. Now, this is going to sound weird, but weights in your heels. Can you squeeze your heels towards each other, even though they're on the floor? Feel those inner thighs activate. If your back is sore, reach those hands back. Four, three, two, one, and up. Woo, core, and feeling those inner thighs working towards each other. All right, final round. Power jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. That's right, high intense intervals, lot less rest. All right, I love those squats you got going on. 20 seconds to go. Could you double it up? Double time it right here. Leave it breathless. We've got a big break coming up. Love it, Dad. Get all the way down to those knees. Good, Mom. Go, Kinsey. Yeah, she's double time it all the way. Four, three, two, one, rest. Nice, Marty. Sending out a huge high five to everybody. Woo. My legs are pumping. 
My core is tired. Beautiful Friday morning, feeling that life, that energy coursing through those veins. Grab yourself a little drink, towel it off. I love what you've got going on. Team, we are in two, where are we at? Yep, second to last, second to last. So we're gonna bring this back to a single leg. All right, with those weights, with those weights, or drop the weights. If you're done, you're, you're tired, that's okay to drop them. All right, single leg. Okay, and that leg does not need to be crazy up, right? You could be down here, just a kickstand, but we're gonna alternate one arm and then the other. Keep this moderate to lightweight, okay? Make sure it's not heavy. One arm and then the other. Halfway through, we're gonna stand up and switch, and we're gonna do again, one arm and then the other. Okay, second exercise, leaving the legs alone. We've got right here a row and then a fly. Shoulders, yeah. All right, so with that, we'll split those legs apart. We'll do our row, bring it back down, and then a flap our wings and bring it back down. So a row and then flap the wings. Again, moderate to lightweight, right? And then uh, for our heart rate up, Bring it back our jump jack and our jabs. So two jumps, jump, jump, jab, 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 jab. Yep. All right. So right here, whoo, scooping that. Yep, turning on those abdominals. Grab those weights, shoulders roll back. 30 seconds, single leg, ready, begin. So hinge one leg, row, then the other arm. All right, now this is like, whoa, I can't hold my balance. You could do two arms. You could drop the weight and just hold this, this hinge. Good, three, two, switch legs and continue. Really feeling those hamstrings and glutes. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Great work. Woohoo! With our fly and row, again, we're gonna split those legs apart to keep our back neutral. All right, and shoulders roll back. Three, two, let's row and down <laughs> and fly and down. Good. Squeeze that tummy tighter and fly. Big long spine between uh, shoulders, hips, and heels. Tummy tight. Good. Nice work team with those rows. Keep this nice and low. Last one and rest. Good. Okay, jump jacks and jabs on our way. And three, two, one, cardio. Let's go, jump, jump, and jab, jab, and jump, jab. Good, you wanna step, go ahead. Jab, step, jab, step, jump, step, jab, step, good. You choose, good, good, good. 12 seconds to go, throw those jabs a little bit quicker. Nice and fast. Five, four, good job, three, two, love it, Kinsey, and one, take a break. Yes, Marty, that was awesome. Everybody picked up their jab speed, well done. All right, finding your weights for round two of three. Single leg. Yes, we're working those glutes and hamstrings to death. Three, two, one, let's row. Now, don't overdo the row. See lots of folks like up here, don't overdo it. Keep it low, doesn't need to be that high. Three, two, switch legs. Good, yes. Great, mom, that looks great. Good job. Kinsey, loving that long spine. Three, tummy tight. Two, and one. Stand it up. Woo! Uh, I guess I need these again, so I don't need to set them down. <laughs> if you're getting tired, bring it down a notch. You can take it down to a lighter weight. Be successful to finish off. Split those legs to keep our hips level. Three, two, and row. Down, fly, 
Stand down. Good. Good long spine here. Takes that pressure off our low back. This is a long row. Great. Not overthinking those rows, you guys. Great job. And fly. Control on the way down. I'm doing it too. I'm like letting my arms flop. Control. Five seconds. Great, Barney. Good, Kinsey. Last one. And rest. Woo. Yes. Team, we're feeling the back side of that body today. Lots of booty, lots of back, lots of shoulders. Here we go, jump jacks, little fun. Three, two, let's throw some punches. Punch this week out of here. Punch, good, so much. Zoom time, too much. Sitting down time, not enough. Fun time, let's reverse that, starting now. Good. I love those punches. You could throw them up if you want. You could get uppercuts if you want. Just switching it up for fun. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! We are taking it all the way to the end today. We are almost there too. So focus on that form. Finding your weights, shoulders roll back. Three, two, one, single left and row. Alternating that row. We're feeling that minuscule core twist, asking our hips to stabilize. Three, two, switch legs. Tummy tight. Three, yep. Good job. Four, three, two, let's rest. Woo. Yep, I just want to drop my weights in between. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you do too. We're getting there. And four, three, split those legs, two, and row. Good, row, and side. Good. And fly. Good. You want to hold a little extra beat with that row? You go right ahead. Good. Long spine, 10 seconds left, everybody. Good, Kenzie. Yeah, Michelle, finishing hard. Three and two and one, let's rest. Good job. All right, shake it on my arms, here we go. Getting, I'm gonna do some uppercuts this time, that was fun. Three, two, one, let's go. Jump jacks, jack and punch, punch. Good. Excellent. Don't forget, tighten up that core as we're punching. We're throwing punches. We gotta be ready to receive them, right? Halfway through. All right. Woo! Finish it up. And three, two, let's rest. Rest. All right, I'm rallying, rally towel right here. We're rallying because we got one more to go, even though we're a little tired. We did our core at the beginning. So we're gonna finish the strength at the end, but we're gonna bring it down to the ground. Bring one weight with you because we're gonna do a pull over. I mean, one or two, okay? But we're gonna do a pull over from overhead and we're gonna do a um, triceps, a skull crusher. So bring something with you. All right. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. So not a lot of heart rate here. Good. Finishing on the ground. Let me adjust this so you can see a little better. And our first round is a pull over. So with that pull over, I'm gonna take two weights, lay on my back, knees are up. And I never miss a chance to roll my lower back into the ground. So I don't want you to miss that chance either. So if you've got that escar, I want you to squeeze, turn those abs on and keep those ribs right above your hips. So we're not arching the back. All right. And with that, we've got our weights over the chest. Squeeze that low back to the ground. And we're gonna slow, I'm gonna, I like to do thumb to thumb. So I'm just gonna do that. Thumb pad, pull it right back 
If you find that your back is arching off the ground, don't go any farther. So if you're only going halfway and your back comes off the ground, bring it back. Do not let your back off the ground, okay? So overhead pull, pull it down. We're gonna alternate with the skull crusher. Bend those elbows, press it away. Overhead pull, pull it down. Skull crusher, press away. Okay, so that's our first round team. We're gonna then sit it up, make our way to hands and feet. All right, we're gonna make our way to hands and feet. And that will be plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Okay, maybe a hand tap can make it a little easier. Okay, or even bring it down to a foot tap. So shoulder tap, foot tap, or hand tap, or play with all three to keep that moving. And then finally, we're gonna come down into a hand release push up. So you're gonna come all the way down, release the hands, press it all the way up to your knees or your toes, your choice. All the way down, squeeze, press it up. All right, here we go team, this is it. Finishing up right here, find those weights. Five, on your back, four, three, two, and begin. So reaching overhead, pull back, and skull crush, and pull. Overhead, pull down, skull crush, Crush. Don't actually hit your head, please. Good. Squeeze that low back into the ground. Great, Kinsey. And continue. Seven seconds, team. Good, Marty. Squeeze that low back into the ground. Looking great, Michelle. Last one. And rest. Team, that was fabulous. Sit it up. Coming back to the plank. Shoulder tap, toe tap, or hand tap. Your choice in three. Two, one, begin. Taps, taps. Good. I'm gonna do an alternate of all three. Good. Nice work. Team, we're halfway. I know you're strong. You can get through 30 seconds of plank. It is Friday. Let's do it. Two, one, rest. Come to your knees. Woo. All right, we're gonna start on our belly here so you can make your way down. All righty, hands come below those shoulders. Ready, set, lift the hands up, bring them down, press it up. All the way down, lift and press. All the way to the belly, lift and press and lift that lift only needs to be a half inch off the floor if that's all you got that's all you got good so 10 seconds remaining great michelle three two and rest everybody great coming on back to your back all right team we're gonna make this our final all right Last time through, squeeze that back down. Ready, set, pull over, and triceps. Pull, and triceps. Great. This is all we've got left for the day. Can you squeeze your low back harder into the ground? Working on our lats as you pull down. Feel that work under the shoulders. Three, two, one, rest. Work your way back to that plank, team. This is it. Second to last effort of the day. Let's get in, in spot. Four, three, two, plank taps. Shoulder taps, toe taps, or a combination. Good, shoulder. I'm doing the shoulder, now I'm doing toe. Now I'm doing tans and reset my hips. Make sure they're level. Up, toe tap, hands. Reset my hips, make sure they're level, right? As we get tired, we tend to hip hike them up. Take it slower if you need to. Three, two, and rest. Rest it out. We've made it here. It's my rally towel, last one. 
starting on our belly. Here we go. Four, three, two, lift those hands. Good. Hand release. Hand release. Push up. Good. I don't care if you're on your knees. I don't care if you're on your toes. I do care that your shoulders are away from your ears. Give it all you got. This is it. 10 seconds remaining on your day. Come on, double down. It's time. Good. And three, two, one. You're done. Woohoo! Stay with me on the ground here. Let's roll over though. Let's roll over onto your back. Send in a huge high five to everybody who got up early, suffered through a couple frozen screens and gave all they got today. Good energy. Let's bring those knees to your chest. Rock them around in a circle. All right. Rock them in the other direction. Excellent. Let's send your left leg long to the floor, right heel up to the top, right in behind your thigh or your knee or your calf. Press your knees straight, heels up. And let's point your toes, toes up, heels up, toes up, heels up, toes up. And just adjust your hands a little more hamstring stretch. Hey, if this is too much, you can always use a towel around like your calf. All right, but we really want to feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Three, two, one. Bend that knee. Good. Let's clasp that right knee in towards your right shoulder. Little tiny pulses here. Kind of just pulsing it towards the shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Guide your knee across your body. Good. Sending. Your right arm out to the right. Look to the right as you um, twist over to the left. Oh, that feels great today. Inhale deep, exhale long. Slowly come back through center. And we'll finish this side with our glute stretch. So right ankle, bring it over your left knee and draw your left knee in towards your chest. You could grab your knee, your shin, or your thigh. On the exhale, see if you can just find a little more pull. Three, two, one, release. Send that leg to the floor. Good, right leg to the floor. And grabbing behind the thigh, straighten that knee, heels up. I have to say, I actually like that towel a little more than my hand, so I'm going to use the towel. Heels up, now toes up. Heels up, toes up. I don't know how to do it. I'm feeling a big stretch in the shin when I do my toes and a big stretch at the back of the leg when I press my heel up. All right, one more. And bend that knee, clasp the knee towards your left shoulder, outside your belly, left shoulder, tiny pulses here for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly guide your left knee across to your right. Keep your shoulders grounded. You look to your left. Big inhale. Long exhale. And release. Taking that left ankle over your right knee. Draw your right knee towards your chest. Big stretch. The next exhale, see if you can pull a little more stretch in that hip. And release. Excellent. Let's gently roll onto your left side. All right. And grab your right ankle into your right hand. Keep those knees together and press your hips forward. Tuck your tailbone. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Quadriceps stretch on the other side. I'm just going to roll around. Finding my top ankle into my top hand. Squeeze my knees together, press your hips forward, tuck your tailbone tight. 
for three, two, one, and release. Make your way back onto your belly. Little chest stretch here. Let's take your right arm out like a T. Left arm is underneath your shoulder. Left ear to the ground. Nope, right ear to the ground. Good, and gently roll across to the right. Picking up that leg, setting it down. Three, two, one. Slowly make your way back to center. And switch sides. So left arm out, left ear to the ground. Pick up that right leg and roll across to the left shoulder. Back stretch for three, two, one. And release. Slowly make your way back to your belly. Put your hands under your shoulders. Good. And we're gonna come up to all fours and press back to child's pose. All right, settling those hips on your heels, walk your hands forward, bring your forehead to your mat or the ground. Exhale, relax your upper body. Let it be heavy on the ground. Clasp your fingers together. Draw your thumbs to the back of your neck. Big upper back stretch. And release. Staying low, let's slide your right arm beneath your left, right ear to the ground. Feel that shoulder stretch. And slowly come back to center. <laughs> And switch sides. So left, good. Sliding the other arm underneath. And release, come back to center. And let's finish with a flexion of the spine. So walking those hands all the way to the right. Press your left hip to your left heel. Try to press your left armpit toward the ground. and release, come back through center. Good. All the way over to the left as you stretch your right hip to your right heel. Press your right hip to the ground, right heel, armpit to the ground. Come all the way back to center. And release. Making our way back and up. Team, fantastic stretch today. Let me unmute.